Bempadoic acid is a new treatment for high cholesterol. It can be used when statins are not suitable and azetamibe is not working well enough on its own. So in this video, I will explain everything you need to know about Bempadoic acid, including how it works and about its specific side effects. This video is part two of a series that explains different medication options for people who cannot take statins to lower their cholesterol. So let's get started with how does Bempadoic acid work? Like statins, it lowers cholesterol in the blood by reducing the production of cholesterol in the liver. Statins do this by blocking an enzyme known as HMG-CoA reductase. Bempadoic acid works in a similar way by slowing down a different enzyme in the cholesterol production pathway known as ATP citrate lyase. As a result, this helps to lower LDL cholesterol sometimes known as bad cholesterol from the blood. Unlike statins, bempadoic acid only works in the liver, so it is much less likely to cause side effects affecting the muscles, which is one of the main reasons some people can't take statins. So why is this new treatment needed? Statins are the first line of treatment for people at high risk of heart disease and strokes, or for people who have generally high cholesterol. Azetamibe is a second line treatment which can be taken on its own or in combination with a statin. If you would like to learn more about azetamibe, I will leave a link to a video in the description box down below. Now if azetamibe with a statin or on its own does not bring LDL cholesterol down enough to reach the recommended target which is usually a more than 40% reduction from the starting point, then the only other remaining option until now has been the PCSK9 inhibitors, which I will talk about in another video. These are more expensive and are usually given as twice monthly injections. So Bempadoic acid is an alternative treatment option to consider for those who can't take statins or are taking a very low dose of statins, or it can be used as an add-on therapy with azetamibe to help lower cholesterol. So how do you take it? There are currently two medicines available, which both come as a tablet. Firstly, this Bempadoic Acid 180 mg tablet, taken once a day. Now this is called Nilemdo in the UK and Nexlitol in the US or there's Bempadoic Acid 180 mg and Azetamibe 10 mg, which is a combination of both medications in one tablet. This is taken once a day and is called Nustendi in the UK and Nexlizet in the US. These can both be taken with or without food. Now it's important to eat a healthy diet alongside your medicines to lower your cholesterol and to keep your risk of disease as low as possible. So how long does it take to work? Once you have started taking Bempadoic acid, your doctor should arrange to check your cholesterol levels within two to three months to see how well it's working. Now what are the common side effects? The most common side effects that have been reported so far is an increase in blood uric acid levels which increases the risk of gout. So gout happens when there is too much uric acid in the blood. Pain in the extremities, especially shoulders, legs and arms. Anemia, which is a lower number of red blood cells. Changes in your kidney function that can be detected in a blood test. Or constipation when it's taken with azetamibe. Now these are not all the side effects. For a full list, see the leaflet inside your medicines packet. So what are the cautions with other medicines? Now tell your doctor if you are taking medicines with any of the following. Medicines used to lower cholesterol, known as statins. The risk of muscle disease may increase when taking both a statin and bempadoic acid. So tell your doctor immediately about any unexplained muscle pain tenderness or weakness. Bosentan, a medicine used to manage a condition called pulmonary artery hypertension. Or Fimisartan, 
which is used to treat high blood pressure and heart failure, and medicines used to treat hepatitis C. So who cannot take benpadoic acid? If you are allergic to benpadoic acid or any of the other ingredients of this medicine, such as lactose, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, if you take more than 40 milligrams of simvastatin daily, which is a medicine used to lower cholesterol, and talk to your doctor before taking benpadoic acid if you have ever had gout, if you have severe kidney problems, if you have severe liver problems, your doctor may do a blood test before you start taking benpadoic acid and this is to check how well your liver is functioning. So what's the evidence that it actually works? There was a five-year study that tracked nearly 14,000 people who were unable to tolerate more than a very low dose of statin, half got benpadoic acid and half got a dummy pill and the data was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. The main finding was that benpadoic acid treated patients had a lower risk of major cardiac problems. So in conclusion, I would say that people who are unwilling or unable to take statins due to side effects, benpadoic acid could be considered as an alternative to statins and this is because benpadoic acid blocks cholesterol production in the liver in a different way to statins, so without those muscle side effects. I hope you enjoyed this video and please share your thoughts or experiences with benpadoic acid in the comment section and you can also watch my other videos especially on how to lower cholesterol naturally. Thank you for watching.